Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Well, my people, hope everybody doing okay, hope everybody doing all right. May God take care of all your needs, touch your life with joy and contentment. Bless your heart with love and faith. Comfort your soul with gladness and inner peace. And grant you good health, lasting comfort and relief from the burden of life. Big up everybody left to see yet another day. Happy, 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 happy Wednesday. Every day above drunk is a blessing. How oh, awesome it is to be amongst the living and not amongst the dead. People, one only patting a go on the news, you know. One only patting a go along, so you what I do. I'll give you a ball to ball commentary right now. So, roll pan the ends and listen what I go on. Watch the police, them guard back in them stupid ways. A man was wanted in the killing of a Chinese couple in Southfield St. the middle of Christmas Eve. Elude the police team during a shootout on Monday evening on Alan Bamboo Avenue. Yes, people. The police were conducting a stop and search operation at about 8 o'clock when the suspect was spotted driving a grey Toyota Pro Box. The man reported the shot at the cops while fleeing the scene. The police returned fire. Yes, people. The police then returned fire and a chase on the man into the Alan Bamboo Estate property where he escaped. The suspect in one of the three men who were accused of murdering the Chinese couple at their supermarket on December 23rd, 2021. Brothers Nigel and Nicholas Waters has been charged in relation to the incident. Yes, on the real tell me see one more criminal only the one put behind bars. Who not feel like say the roach them and the hands them hungry? Them need to be fed. A makeup artist Anna Igla was slapped with robbery and aggravation charges after they accused of robbing a man of $20,000 downtown Kingston on Monday, March 14. Charge R, 21 year old Maisha Smile, otherwise called Browning, a makeup artist of Seabreeze Avenue, and 25 year old Crystal Wong, a Igla of Jackets Place, both in Kingston. Report that at about 5.55 p.m. the complainant was at the intersection of Tower Street and Princess Street in downtown Kingston when he was approached by both female who brandished knife and proceeded to rob him of $20,000. The woman then escaped in the area. A report was made to the police and smile and one was pointed out by the man. They were subsequently arrested and charged. The police them really are telling them, them drive out the government gas from Central Police Station just to arrest them at two Jezebel. And all this makes sense, people. Permanent spell should have put on them face. Right under dirt, them should have land. Well, I'm going to give you the more news now. Member of Jamaica Constabulary Force, Narcotics Division arrest and charge two men from St. Anne with possession of dealing and trafficking cocaine following the seizure of the drugs on Thursday, March 10. Charge are Daniel Mir, otherwise called Sammy, a 56-year-old former nightclub operator of Marine Guard in Ocheros, and David Byfield, a 36-year-old fisherman of Limehall in the parish. Report that at about 5.45 p.m., the St. James Police found approximately 2 kilograms. Hold on there. Them left out the little owns people as usual. Yes, them left it out. Of cocaine in the car the men were traveling in. They were subsequently arrested. Byfield was also slapped with an alleged charge under the Proceed of Crime Act as he was found with over 370,000 at the time of his arrest. Both men are scheduled to appear before the St. James Parish Court on Friday, March 18, 2022. Don't need to worry. I have been keeping the posting on that. Well, on the now, I can tell you, oh, get snap way. Yes, people. Uh, people chop out. Let me tell the people them something. Every single day, people dead about you. So, I don't want nobody to come and chicken and make you feel like about you safe. About you not safe. You understand? People are dead. Left, right, and center. I take a walk down and say, James, go tell you who lie down on the ground. Listen, listen good now, people. 
two men were shot dead during an attack by gunmen in Green Pond, Montego Bay, St. James, Monday. One of the dead men has been identified as 21-year-old O'Neill Tilwell, otherwise called CJ, an unemployed resident of Bridgetown District in Green Pond. The other victim has not yet been identified. Police describe him as slim build of fair complexion and six feet tall. One only but people are saying, who oh, they never supposed to that and them suddenly that you only follow about company. Show me a company, I tell you who you are. If your company forget slapper, you forget slapper to you know exactly where they're involved in a move from around them. It is reported at about 10 p.m. Residents reported heard loud explosion sound like gunshot and summon the police. I can tell you something. Knife stamp can sound like gunshot for people. Oh look that be foolishness. Gunshot to the ear, gunshot him get. On the arrival, the police still well body was found along a dirt track lying on the right side in a pool of blood. What appears to be gunshot wound to the upper body. Here the idiot police them do the same foolishness. He was wearing a white marina, look bad color, black puma underwear, green camouflage jean shorts, and a multicolored sock. So we'll land the people who just is a boy. You know, see all the give me that look up here and him nose to be perfect cloud. Full of colors like cloud and as usual, them pants always they be low them waist. That's why them could not tell you what kind of underwear my van. When man come for your pants along the side, oh you run! Oh you run. Anyway, I can't tell about the next body now. The body of the unidentified man was seen lying on its back with what appears to be gunshot wound to his upper body. It was clad in a blue shirt, blue and yellow shirt. He was sporting cornrow hairstyle. So anybody who miss anybody who didn't have them colors there. Just do a safe then. Yes, Galago Pipe Maga identified the body. The men were taken to the corner reach of the hospital. We found them carried them right now. Galago Maga fling them down. Yes, people. Yes, yes, yes. Police at least 20 spent casing. Most of them high powered rifles were found at the scene. So you know, see the man, them come, come do the damage. A damage doing the people. They know exactly why them slap them. So, only look at people who are bad about this man is innocent and that man is innocent. Make I ask you something. When you do a close at night time and a lie down, whoever on a lie down beside her, you don't know where them there road, do. If you don't know, just shut to the mouth. Anyway, we can move on. A security guard was allegedly stabbed to death while on duty at the Plaza and Ocho St. Anne's on Monday. Yes, people. One more guard is dead. One more the pepper spray general them dead. He has been identified as 21-year-old Kimali Grace of Lloyd's District St. Thomas. Report that at about 4 a.m. on Monday, Grace was attacked and stabbed by a group of men while he was on duty at the plaza. Yes, people. And he only had his pepper spray and his sanitizer buckle. Toop, toop. Jordan, your mask. Look at the camera and proceed. You know, see them not give them no gun and them not give them no button. Anyway, people, it is alleged that the wounded man made an alarm to his supervisor, but he reportedly succumbed to his injury before he could be assisted. His body was later found with the stab wound. The same time, police are investigating. So, we're we'll landing now, people. A time for bus start kill people, come we go so boom. I'm see one jump off a bus and dead. No, the bus don't let down one kill it. I can tell you what I'm going now. A woman is dead after she was hit by a bus along the Rose Hall Main Road in St. James Tuesday night. She has been identified as Esmeralda Russell of a Jared Street address in Montego Bay, St. James. She is suspected to be around 60. The people them are said to us, she look, she look like she well up in her age. And based on the name of them zip and her ID, our all of my name. And that the people them say. That is what the people them say. I kind of agree with them too. Reports coming forward that at about 8.45 p.m. Ross was attempting to cross the road in the vicinity of All Day Inn Hotel when she was struck by the vehicle. She was subsequently rushed to the hospital but later succumbs to her injury. All on a bit there now, people. Please, me, I beg you. Don't tell me, sir, at the hotel she work. Don't come and tell me, sir. She work at the hotel I don't want. Nobody tell me say she work at the hotel. Can me tell you, you know, the hotel worker them are dead off. One by one by one. And I say it for myself. Something not right. Something can't right people. Also what hotel worker does are dead off, sir. No man, sacrifice them and sacrifice them. But people are not going to believe me still, but we are not going to see it for the sake. Stupidness in his highest farm. And you know once you hear stupidness, you know who perform it already. Now must the police them. Police has charged a man in the near fatal attack on a policeman and I-95 highway in Port Mercy in Catherine last month. The cop who is still hospitalized was shot and left for dead and his motorbike and firearm stolen by his attackers. His almost lifeless body was found the following day by a passerby. Charge is... 
Javon Eli Marshall, age 21, a bearer from Caribbean Estate in Catching. Only time charge you not come close to Javon name or when your family member never get the charge for your casket when they're supposed to go pay for. You understand? The counter terrorist and organized crime detective arrested Marshall last Thursday. He was charged on Sunday. Marshall is charged with wounding with intent, robbery, aggravation, illegal possession of firearm and ammunition, and conspiracy to robbery. Report was that about 8.50 p.m. on February 14, the police concept was riding his motorcycle along the roadway when he was approached by two men also traveling on a bike the men opened fire on the cop from behind hitting him multiple times in his back he was robbed of his motorcycle his license firearm and a cell phone the men then flee the constable was found at about 6 30 a.m the following morning near the roadway suffering from gunshot wound. the police were summoned and he was taken to the hospital where he was admitted in critical condition and people him still at the hospital, a battle for him life. Una really, I tell me, say, them big lunatic police, yeah, really, left all the way from the 100-man police station, go go find this boy over Caribbean Estate, and carrying him in, it no make no sense. It no make no sense. The boy can't do none of my colleague them something, and me just go some boom, and turn a blind eye to it. No, 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 no. One fix address. One fix address. You know, if you pay for rent, water, or light. Nothing him now if you pay for Right down there need to go. Right on the ground. Anyway, people, I can tell you something else. I still only one person dead so far from the client and gun attack. I don't know how worried you can tell you about him yesterday. Willie alone dead. Yes, people. Rest of people them the hospital them thing there. The only pass place no bad hospital, but hospital still hold them. And my boss them hungry, them want food and water and want only pass up. So the family members who need to go and go look for the gunshot victim them. Matter of fact, pull the plug. Anyway, people.